Hi everyone, it's Kitty. Welcome back to my video. So I uploaded a video two weeks ago about how I got my first Krona bag, um, which is a Broken 25 in one of the new colorways mushroom with gold hardware. So this was my first Krona bag from the boutique and some of you were really nice and left me comments congratulating me and some of you have asked me to speak about my Hermes journey and how I came to get this bag. So I thought, yes, okay, let's do it. Let's do a second video um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So I love handbags. Um, I remember that my love for handbags started quite young. Um, I remember the first designer handbag I bought was with my first tax return money after I did a whole summer summers of work. And with that, I actually bought a Marc Jacobs uh, bag, and it's one of those. Um, it was a burgundy color. It had two pockets at the front with the Marc Jacobs gold padlock. And I still have that bag to date. Um, I don't think I'll ever get rid of it just because it meant so much to me sentimentally. Um, but that was the first designer handbag that I bought for myself. And since then, I've kind of not really stopped and have added to my collection. But with Hermes, I actually haven't bought from them for that long. Um, I think I started buying from Hermes towards September, October of 2021. Um, I remember that we were just coming out of strict lockdown and all the shops are starting to open up. And that was when I first ventured into my local Hermes boutique. I mean, the brand Hermes, everyone knows that it's like the top of the luxury handbags and a Birkin or a Cali um, is a dream bag for a lot of handbag lovers out there. So I've always loved the bags, but never thought that I can obtain one, but here we are today. So I started buying, so actually after strict lockdown, um, we thought let's go visit the Hermes boutique. And when I first walked in, I was like a duck out of water. I was really lost. I was wandering in there and I wasn't sure what to do. That was when I met my first essay. Um, my first essay was a casual actually, and because Melbourne just came out of a really strict lockdown, a lot of the luxury stores were employing quite a few casual staff members, just because during lockdown, a lot of uh, normal work members were let go of. Anyway, so um, it was a casual essay, um, and he was really, really nice. So first time I went in there, I think I actually asked for a belt um, and it was a black and tan color one of those two-sided belts with a cursive H buckle so that was my first purchase around September of 2021 then I bought a few other smaller items I think there might have been a lipstick here and there and then a pair of the gold Oran sandals and that was pretty much it um, I kind of told him that you know what I really like the bags but um, because I knew that I wasn't really you know one of the frequent customers I wasn't holding very high hopes um, but then I think around February in 2022 um, he was just texting me and then he goes hey I've got a bag in I'm not sure if you'll be interested and it actually was a Picatin and it was in that uh, color blue newt and that was actually my first Hermes bag so this one here, um, it's actually a size uh, Picatin 22, so it's quite big. Currently I have an insert in there, so it actually makes it look more bigger. Um, and I bought a Twilly that day, which I popped on, which he was very nice to help tie on for me. And this one also came in gold hardware. So this is the classic Picatin bucket style bag. It's really big and can hold quite a bit. Um, I normally don't use the insert when I'm taking it out just because I feel like it does kind of bulk it up a bit more and I like a more slouchier look. But um, it's great. Really love it. Every time I wear it out, I always think it looks much bigger, but everyone says that, you know, it's fine. It actually suits. So yeah, that was my first Hermes bag. So I was really lucky because I didn't really buy much from my first essay and he offered me this bag. So yeah that was my first bag it's in Clemence leather um and then since then I bought a few other items um some twillies 
Uh, I think he also offered me my first Rodeo. This one here. So that one actually matches my Picton. I think that's the blue Nui color. And then this is, I think the purple is like uh, Cassis, maybe. <laughs> um, and then uh, the, the mane and the tail is in, I believe, Sesame. Maybe not. Oh, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so this is the one I sometimes wear with my Pikachu, um, if I don't wear my Twilly. And I heard that these are very hard to come by. So uh, when he offered it to me, I just said yes and took it. Um, then after that, I mean, I don't really have a strong recollection, but uh, uh, actually then um, I was trying to contact my essay for a bit. Uh, in around March, April, but uh, I was texting him and I wasn't getting a response. So by April, um, that was around my birthday, I decided to go into the store. So I went into the store and I asked for him and then I actually got told that, oh, he no longer works. Uh, oh, he's taken a long um, absence um, and he might not be back. So then um, I met uh, my second essay during that trip and she is also, uh, she started as a casual, but then when I met her, she was then a permanent member working at the store. And she was so helpful. We got on really, really well and actually did most of my purchasing to get my quota bag from her. Um, so she's really nice. Every time I went in store, it was always fun for us. Um, she got to really know me, my kids, my family. And yeah, I really got to know her as well. Um, some of the items that I did buy from her which really helped um i'll just quickly show you the items which i really love um so some of the items that i really really love are some of these shoes so this pair here this pair of loafers it's in a tan color with the buckle i really love these they look really nice elegant um, especially with pants and i wear them quite a lot um, they are so comfy and generally on a long shopping trip i can walk in these for like five six hours and that's okay for me i'm not the best with shoes so generally i'm always in flats um just because i have very strange feet uh, another pair of shoes that i did get from her are the oasis sandals so i picked them up in classic white with the tan or gold color stitching um, these are awesome for summer, you know, wearing them with skirts and dresses. Denim actually looks really good with white as well. I am obsessed with white. I mean, I, you know, as you can tell, I have a very light colored bag. Even though I'm a mom, I have two boys, they're always dirty, but something about white, I'm always drawn to light colored clothes, white clothes. I have quite a few pieces of white in my wardrobe. Um, yeah, my philosophy is wear it if you love it. If it gets dirty, wash it. Okay, um, some other things are this, this silk scarf I really love. Um, when I first saw it, she actually showed it to me um, on the iPad. So before they even got it in store, um, she did show this to me as a picture. So let me see if I'm holding this carefully. There we go. So it's basically the horse. It is horse made out of flowers. I actually love this design so much that I actually got a friend to pick up the same design scarf but in a different colorway so she also picked up a navy for me and then the flowers on that one were actually beautiful and multicolored so I've got two of these I was actually thinking of framing up one of them um, as art and then I love wearing this one and this one really looks good just with plain clothes or um, even over a denim jacket I just chucked this on and yeah and a few other items which really helps you to get a quota bag would be to buy some of the jewelry. So I have um, a Click H bracelet, which is considered their costume jewelry. However, to really kind of get yourself out there, get known, you need to, or you should, buy some of the fine jewelry. And this beautiful piece here actually this piece was a surprise um, this second essay uh, kind of uh, was in a scheming again with my husband um, for our wedding anniversary so I actually wasn't expecting this 
um, he and her were contacting behind my, you know, and then they organized for this. So Hermes Fine Jewelry always comes in a beautiful leather box. I've got the embossing here and this one is the finesse necklace so my one is in rose gold with the diamonds and this is gorgeous like I wear it all the time um, just even over plain clothes or you know on your neck it has two settings so a longer or a shorter drop but both are beautiful and the diamonds are so so sparkly and it's really gorgeous so that was the fine jewelry piece and it obviously really helps with your purchase history so I got that and another piece which helps as well will be um, getting a watch so I ordered a watch from them and the watch I picked um, they didn't have in store and it actually wasn't available yet because I actually picked the smallest size face which I think now um, you can kind of get in store sometimes however uh, when I went in to order it which was around I think May of 2022 um, it was just on the iPad system so we I picked the the face I picked the band um, the hardware the size and it took around five months for it to come in so with ordering of watches if you need to order a watch you need to pay the deposit and the deposit is generally half the price of the watch so i think with this watch when i first ordered it um it was quoted at i think it was around five five thousand eight hundred um and then when i actually went to pick it up they've had a price increase <laughs> so i had to pay the new price which was just over six thousand for this watch so my one is black baronia leather it's got a mother of pearl face and it's got diamonds as the dial and this is the smaller size i think it's like 21 millimeters from top the top corner here to the bottom corner or the face is 17 millimeters so it's quite small and dainty but i have very small wrists so this one works really well for me and it's it's a gorgeous watch it's just elegant I wanted something easy um, simple but still elegant for work or for dinners and yeah so I just pop it on and I also bought a few other um, I bought some ready to wear uh, polo top for my husband for his birthday bought him a belt um, I also bought him some sneakers and I think with Hermes, the aim is you need to diversify. So don't just buy from the same department. It's good if you kind of dabble in all of their other departments, such as, you know, they're ready to wear shoes, maybe some cosmetics, nail polish, some, you know, small leather goods. Uh, fine jewelry really helps. Watches, if you, you, if you like their watch, so that's the watch on me. And like I said, I have very small wrist, so that works really fine. And yeah so i think yeah i bought i mean in all i only have three pairs of their shoes um ah there was another bag though that i did pick up so this bag came from my second essay and uh, she knew that i was looking for this bag and actually it is a mini evelyn so this bag here it's the mini evelyn or the evelyn tpn i think and this one also comes in gold hardware. I am a fan of gold hardware. If you can't tell by now, most of my bags are in gold hardware. Um, it's just one deep pocket. And I also got, actually my, my husband picked up this Pegasus and it, um, he gave it to me for our anniversary along with the necklace. Um, yeah, so he kind of did like a mini haul, <laughs> bought me a few pieces of things and yeah, I kind of unboxed it all on our anniversary night, our 10th year wedding anniversary night. But yeah, so this Pegasus matches really well with this Mini Evelyn. And this one is in trench colour. So I really love it. Really neutral, versatile. I wear it all the time. If anything, this has become my go-to bag just because it's so easy. It's got like the fabric strap. I tied a knot just because I'm not that tall. So this one with a knot tied on, it actually fits me better when I'm wearing it crossbody. But yeah, this is so useful. It stores all my essentials. And yeah, I wouldn't like 
if I lost one thing or this is probably the item that I will rush out to buy again <laughs> and I wouldn't mind actually adding another one or two of these to my collection as well so it's really useful love this one um, yeah so some other t items that I bought I've got a few of their perfumes um, my favorite one actually is this one here the Twilly Twilly the Hermes All Ginger I don't know, but I prefer this one over the normal Twilly. And I also have the rhubarb fragrance. So I believe this one is unisex, but I really love it. Like, it smells really delicious. I don't know why it's called rhubarb. I mean, it's just great. So I love this one. Um, and I do have two other unboxings to do with you guys quickly today. But this is one of the... Um, mugs that I got from their homeware collection so this is in the platinum mug and I love this like it's so nice it's got these dotted squares but yeah it's really beautiful I have my coffee in this it's great um, I think you can't microwave it though so that's a tip okay so I think ah there is one other item that I did pick up and that's this so this is the Hermes Avalon blanket and it's 9% wool 10% cashmere so warm currently it's freezing in Melbourne and I have this just on top of my normal uh, doona or blanket at night and just keeps us toasty warm and I love this like this such good quality hard wearing um, we pick blue just because it matches our bed like the bed frame is gray so love blue and gray together and yeah it's gorgeous so that's i think basically my purchase history really so with that essay um i was with her until the end of 2022 and then that's when she told me that she will be leaving <laughs> yes my luck so she was my second essay and she has decided to go back to you know doing the job that she actually studied for so i think somewhere along like in the business world so she was leaving retail but she did tell me kitty you know before i go i just want to let you know that i have applied for your quota bag your dream bag and then with her actually on my wish list it was a cali bag um she's told me that you know i've, I've put in the application to the manager and it's in for a black cali in 25 so cali 25 with gold hardware and hopefully fingers crossed if everything goes according to plan you should hopefully have it in a couple of months but we'll see because stock level so that was around Christmas time um, I said goodbye to her she was actually going on a long holiday before I'm um, going back to work in the business field and then I was stressed because what am I gonna do like I got there I finally got there purchased enough worked up you know my purchase history and she says she's put the application in but now I have no essay <laughs> So I'm there looking for a new essay again and she did introduce me to two people um, but one of them I felt a stronger connection to and that was my third essay and with this essay I actually saw him a couple of times in the store and he actually remembered me by name and he actually remembered me working with the first essay so it was really sweet I thought that was a good sign that he actually remembered me by name and then so I decided to go with him but you know he's my current essay and He's been really good, really sweet. We get along really well and he's never been like put on any pressure for me to purchase anything with him uh, because he knew that, you know, I already got the application to get my quota bag and he was like, you know, you've been waiting for so long. Hopefully your bag will come soon. But he did actually ask me one day and said, is the Cali bag the only one that you're after just because between us, um, Cali bags are very hard to come by lately. Um, there's just not that many that we're receiving. Uh, but instead, you know, if you're interested, a Birkin might actually be a bit easier. So I thought, really, a Birkin? Yes, of course. Like, I'm not going to say no to a Birkin. So he goes, yeah, I mean, if you're happy, we can change your wish list to a Birkin bag and I'll let the manager know just because, you know, my previous essay has already applied to the manager um, and put my name down, I guess, for a Kelly. So I 
thought about it and then I texted him I said yes please can you please change it to a Birkin if you think that'll be easier to get and that was February this year so I actually didn't get this gorgeous baby until April so um, that was still four months from when my second essay applied for my quota bag and it just happened to come in or I get you know the manager finally saying yes we're going to approve this bag for her literally the weekend before my birthday so it's just the stars aligned and I got this bag it's gorgeous I haven't had much of a chance to use it just because we are going into winter and it's just wet and dreary all the time I don't really want to take it out when it's raining but you know when I know that I'm gonna go shopping or undercover then yes definitely I would take this out even though it is a light color bag um, you know I'll I think you know you should use the items that you have it's not just there to sit pretty even though yes it's nice it is a work of art it's there for me to admire but yes I do want to use this as much as possible so quickly I do have two unboxings today to do with you guys um, this one actually I've kind of had for a while I haven't actually opened it and it's actually to match this other mug here that I've used so I've just quickly unboxed it um, it's actually another mug and this one is in the gold so it's gorgeous mug this one is in the gold really nice um, yeah so I think I will start to use this as well or pop it in my cup cupboard and then the second box here this is actually what I picked up recently from the Hermes store maybe two weeks ago and I've actually wanted a uh, I've been wanting this for a while I actually saw this on one of my work colleagues um, you know she's got impeccable taste looks really nice on her and she was wearing it with a skirt um, and I've always kind of wanted a thinner one it's a it's actually a belt so I've always wanted a thinner belt and yeah so I picked one up so that's the buckle and that's the belt so I've got a thinner belt so this one is in white and gold so white and tan classic combination and then the buckle is i got this buckle here this is the buckle that i picked up and it's in rose gold and the rose gold just looks really good against the white as well as against the tan so i'll just quickly show you against the white it looks like that and then against the tan it Oh, this way looks like that so I love this two in one um, I reckon tan always looks really good with black pants and because I, I work in an office I should you know I, I, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this and the white would look great with like on a black dress or skirt so yeah so that's what I recently picked up I am working towards hopefully my second quarter bag <laughs> um, yes so I, my current essay really nice really honest I mean it's not really going to tell me all the tricks of the trade but he has hinted that I did ask like you know what's the limit on a quota bag that a customer can get per year and he said generally it's two however it just depends on stock like obviously you know the manager will always try and give it to someone who doesn't have one first uh, before allocating you a second one within the same year so you know if I work really hard and get a few other items then yes I probably will aim to get or, or want to get another bag by the end of the year I'm hoping fingers crossed uh, but yeah so that's my Hermes journey and I hope you guys enjoyed it so thanks for tuning in and if you have any questions please leave me a comment if you might want to you know, if you're interested in seeing me make another video maybe on my bag collection or if you've got any more in-depth questions about Hermes then yeah definitely leave me a comment and we'll see where we go from here thanks everyone have a good day